Hey guys, I'm Edward with Everything Kayak. We want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel here. And as always, be sure to follow the channel, hit the notification bell so you can get updates on whenever we're putting up new videos. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any further questions about anything, or if you just have something you want to talk about on the video. So we're touching into some products from Malone Auto Racks, and these are going to be some of their rail systems. So first up here, we have the steel top, which is a universal crossbar system. And then we have the Versa rail, which is a bare roof crossbar system. And we'll touch details on each of these. So when we talk about the steel top here, this assembly here is going to clamp to a pre-existing lateral rail that is on the vehicle. And this is going to be able to be moved back and forth so what we do is we set the width that we need to between this clamp and the clamp that's on the other side. So we get those set in and then on the back side, we're gonna have the availability to lock all of this down. So using simply an Allen wrench, you'll have the availability to go ahead and lock this down. It's gonna clamp to that pre-existing rail. Depending on the size of the rail, there are some spacers that come in that kit that lock nice and easy down inside of there. Go ahead to give you a buffer for that clamp on that assembly. And then as we tighten down with that single Allen bolt, that's gonna both pinch the cross rail as well as clamp to the existing rail that's on the vehicle. And on the end, really nice feature. So these caps are gonna pop on and really clean up the setup, but you can see they're all gonna have a lock cylinder in them with the keys that come with that setup. So you have the luxury of having such a secure bar to add on to the lateral rails that are already on your vehicle. Uh, these come in a couple different lengths. You wanna make sure that you're getting the length where you have enough bar to grab onto those lateral rails that are already on the vehicle. So moving from the steel top to the Versa rail. So also we have the availability where we use simply an Allen wrench. We'll flip it over and kind of show you that. So you've got this, this piece here that's gonna be adjustable. What this is gonna allow us to do is go ahead and unbite it from the rail. And as soon as we loosen that up, that gives us the availability to slide this assembly. So now we can match to where we wanna sit this properly on the rooftop of the vehicle. And you'll see the underslung strap here. When you open the doors on the vehicle, you're gonna place this Versa rail to where the directions indicate on the setup. And then this strap's gonna pull through the inside of the vehicle. When we're talking about the Versa rail here, you can see the suction cups on each end. This is gonna give us a good firm press down on the, the roof of that vehicle. We wanna always make sure we're on the outside of that pinch weld close to the door jam there. Uh, again, the instructions available with the kit will kind of line out where you need to place it. You do wanna tighten up those Allens when we get that length set prior to pulling this strap through. But what's really nice is on a naked roofed vehicle, so no lateral crossbars or anything like that, you can apply this, have a rigid crossbar that you can mount a plethora of other bracket options from just pad cover covers with padding. So you can place that boat in whatever manner you want to the J-style cradles and things like that and easily be able to remove this or move it from vehicle to vehicle. So again, guys, from Malone Auto Racks, this is the Versa rail. And then we have also the steel top. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Cheers.